In this video, we're going to be looking at the next requirement, which is the box box task. <clears throat> and you'll see there's a number of things I'm going to enter or use in this. Now, there's something that I realized as I was reading through here. When I looked at the images early on, in one of the earlier clips, I said, and as, as always, there's usually one image that's um, completely out of place for each of the exams that you do. Uh, and I believed it was a hotel one because I couldn't see the link to the hotel with everything else going on until I looked at the text file named competition which we're going to talk about in a second so the the random image here most likely is this one here which looks like a gallery uh, at a museum so it's not this is the image that's basically is the one that you should be looking out or sorry let me say that again it's the image that you should basically stay away from uh, so the competition itself that this task is referring to is going to use the hotel image so let's go for each section so we're going to create a box which means i'm going to have to use photoshop uh, and this pop box is going to go into the competition page. So I'm going to get the competition page ready. There it is. I'm going to have a space for a box so I can either use it here or maybe down here. So I'm going to decide that in a second. It says also that the background of the box needs to be a specific color. So they've already told us what this is. So we're going to have to use that. They want the text that's given to us from the competition to folder. So file, sorry. I'm going to go to my text folder. There it is. I'm going to open that up. And you'll see some text here. So this needs to be copied and used in this box. And this text needs to go next to um, this image, the hotel image, uh, which was what I was referring to. And not only does it need to be next to it, but the text needs to wrap around the hotel image itself. Now this here, just at the bottom, is just tells us where the competition file is and where the hotel image is. So let's go through this one at a time. So first step is to really decide on the size of the box itself. So I'm going to zoom out of this very quickly and decide how I can use this. Now I could have it here. Uh, and I think, to be honest, that is probably the best place to put it, purely because if I zoom back in again, just above it, we are talking about the competition anyway. So it would go nicely in here. So I'm going to split this up. Table, split. And I want two rows, yes I do, and that goes perfectly there, and that's going to go, the box is going to go in here. Now, I'm going to aim to have the image uh, not not too overwhelming, not too large. So, if I zoom out a little, just so I can see what I'm working with, yep, that's fine. And I'm trying to use the dimensions here, so you can see it goes from 0 to about 700, it's less than 700 actually, so what I'm going to do is you probably use this here is an indication that's 683 so i'm going to say 680 for now i'm going to make a note of that on my paper so 680 pixels width this is just the box of the background and the height well it's down to me now really um if this is going to be enough and it should be really because if you look at the size of the font here which is the kind of font size i'm going to go for in here as well to keep it consistent and looking judging from the the text they've given us here there's not much there so i reckon that height should suffice it should be more than enough so i'm going to have to measure it from here to there so what i'm going to do is we're going to look at this so you can see from there to there's 100 200 so it's about 300 it's just about 300 so and i'm going to use that as just as, as a you know uh, a starting point i can make it smaller if i have to later so i'm going to go to photoshop I'll write this down sorry 300 so I know I'm going to get 680 by 300 pixels. So Photoshop, file, I'm going to go to new. And I want to get the pixels here. Make sure this is pixels. I always get students time and time again having this as inches or centimeters. And it can really be a stress, you know, realizing when it's too late after you created everything, put all the images and text in, because then you'll start all over again or move things around. So make sure it's pixels. And as I said, the width is 680, which is what I'm going to go for, and the height is going to be about 300. Make sure this says RGB, not grayscale, because otherwise you're not going to be allowed to put any color in there. Background white is fine for now. Press OK, and there we go. I'm going to then, um, yeah, I'm just going to go from here, to be honest. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to type it in here. Now, I'm going to double check. E84545. I got it already. E84545. But if you didn't, you just go in there, and type it in. And then I'm going to use a bucket and just paste it in. There we go. Just going to paint the background that. So that's the box ready. The next part is to get the image in. I'm going to get the image in first. I'm going to go to File and Open and get the 
hotel image hotel 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 that is press ok and open now it doesn't ask me to make any edits to it so you don't need to um, you're not going to get any extra marks, but if, you, if it's bugging you, if you've got OCD like myself, then by all means you could change it. And, you know, very simple. I'm going to, first things first, before you can make any kind of changes, you have to double click here, press center, just so the padlock goes away. Now it's unlocked and you can make the changes you want. Black arrow. And I personally think just simply going into new adjustment layer, going into curves as an example, we used it before in one of the previous videos. And just bring out some of the contrast just to make it pop out just a little bit more. Um, and I'm happy with that. Okay. But you don't need to. Once you're happy with that, uh, and if you change it or not, does it make a difference? Like I said, I'm going to get layers. Oh, there it is. I'm happy with that. Yes. And I'm going to flatten these. flatten so they're both together now I want to use a black arrow and then drag it into the new canvas that I've created and throw it in here now I'm going to put it about here um, and we can have the text here however um, we want the text to go around it so now we have to think carefully about how we could make this look um, look nice really because the confusion here now is obviously they want this color and naturally you'd think you'd have the text coming in here but obviously they said they wanted to go and wrap around the hotel see it says here set the background which i've done insert the text which i'm about to do insert the hotel which i have wrap the text around the hotel so really the easiest thing might be better to get a little bit of a border so you need a white space here use the control and t which is to free transform use the shift again on your keyboard which is the arrow found near the bottom left hand side of the keyboard or just above the control button and drag it in. All I'm going to do is basically get a little bit of space like this perhaps and make the text go around from here to here. So I'm going to have the text go around there. Once I'm happy, press enter. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, uh, if I can find it, not you, not you. Pencil tool. No, that's not it. There it is. This one. Okay, so click here. If you have one of these, don't worry about it. You want the pen tool. The pen tool is what I mean. And what we're going to do with the pen tool is just going to draw uh, the area where we want the text to basically go into. So I'm going to click, go all the way to the edge here. Try to get as straight as I can. Click, go to the edge here. Click, go to the edge here. Go to the edge here, just above the image, back over here, and then back up. Okay. Now, you can see it's not that neat. So you should take more time with this. Um, and then all we're going to do is basically throw in the text into here. So I'm going to go into my competition file. Here it is. I'm going to push this down a little bit because I want them to be separated. Um, Yes, I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to change this, make that bold for now. And I'm going to right click and change this to white right now, actually, and copy. Yeah. And then I'm going to go back in here. Hopefully, my computer or my laptop, sorry, decides to wake up. Paste it into this area that I've just created. And what I should do is basically have the text go around the image of the hotel itself. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, rather than having you wait for this to wake up, I'm going to pause the video and then come back to you uh, when it starts to work again. Okay, it seems to be working again. So once you create this, you go and click on the T icon here, which is text. And then what you're going to do is hopefully, you should be able to just click inside. There we go. And then Control and V. And it should, hopefully, form the text. Right. It is in there, but the font is obviously uh, off. So what we do is go to the top here, choose white, and then you can see it. Okay. Press OK. Um, so make sure, I'm going to go back over here, make all this uh, a normal color again. A black. 
just so you can see where it ends so we need redeemed by december 2017 so I'll go back here you can see it's far too large so i'm gonna reduce the size so maybe 18 there we go um i'm gonna make it go from the left there we go and i could afford to make it a little bit larger so let's make it 24 far too big so perhaps 18 make this 24 no, didn't like that, don't like that. Um, perhaps separate this out a little bit. So this competition is exclusive to the Hood Dinner website. The prize is a weekend away for two at a luxurious hotel, which includes a murder mystery evening. So maybe press enter here, push this down, and push this down. There we go. Um, and that's it. Yeah, so once you're happy, you click away, and you can see everything's nice and organized it is going around the actual uh, the image don't worry about this these lines here because when you save it it won't show so i'm going to show you that now so file just like any other image but before i do let's remind ourselves look at this they want it to be saved as a jpeg there it is jpeg 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 yes yes so Let's make sure that's a JPEG. So go over here, and we're going to make sure it says JPEG there. Look at the size. The size is fine. It's nowhere near the 300 uh, allowance that we have. You can see here the lines are not showing anymore. Press save. And we're going to call this. I'm just going to call it uh, box for now. And then we just need to come back into Dreamweaver, find a spot which is right there. Make sure it's the left and top, which is perfect. Insert. And this is just an image. So we're going to go in here find the box that we've just created there it is press ok say no to that and it should fit in perfectly now alternate text uh competition competition details we'll put prize hotel prize that's okay okay and there we go it's put, fitting perfectly although you can see it's pushed it out a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this in a little bit by just typing in typing in the number so i'm going to make this six uh seven eight there we go and the height is a little bit big as well so i'm going to click here and change that to maybe two nine five two nine five there we go and that's perfect now i'm going to save that and give it a test so I'm gonna to go to the events page and then go to oh still refreshing it was the events page wasn't it competition page that's why it makes more sense so let's go to the home page then go to competition and there it is okay we can you can read it nice and neatly it's their text the image is there and it's wrapping around it as well and that's how you do it